Hey, gun people! That's a pretty good little story. Uh, YouTube may block it because it kind of shows that men are being men, and that mean testosterone they're always telling us about kind of comes out in this video. Uh, so this guy, used to be a cop, uh, is running around taking pictures of women up their skirts, and this father takes action. The was the camera mode. mode. When this Orange County dad noticed this man approach his 15-year-old daughter in the Cypress Target Sunday night at 745 with a cell phone held low pointed up in the direction... Dude, can you imagine your 15-year-old daughter and you see this freaking dude sh shoving a camera? I don't know how he didn't beat the hell out of the guy, but at least he took a little bit of action later. Kicked his phone out of her skirt, he blocked him from getting close to her. But minutes later, as Ismael Duarte and his family stood in line, he saw the same bald man in a tank top strike again, this time bending down and apparently recording video up another woman's skirt. Target security tape captured the confrontation. We were coming over to the register, and here he comes again, pops out, following the girl, another girl with the dress. Okay, so he's bending out here, Supposedly taking pictures of this girl up her dress. This guy sees it and he walks over and kicks the phone out. Duarte kicked the cell phone from 29 year old Jorge Ibarra, my husband. Okay, so let's take a look at this a little confrontation right here. Is this, is which one is the primary aggressor? And is the guy that kicked his phone, did he commit a crime and is he arrestable? If this guy wants to have him arrested for kicking his phone, could he have him arrested? Now, if I'm a cop and I show up, if you're committing a crime, first of all, for civil suit, he doesn't have clean hands, so he can't sue this guy. This guy can't be sued because he doesn't have clean hands, and he can't come to court without clean hands saying, I was committing crime, I was unlawfully filming up a girl's dress, and he kicked my phone out of hand, I want to sue him for damage to my phone. It's called the clean hands doctrine in a civil, in civil case. In a criminal case, the DA is not going to charge a father who kicked a pervert's phone out. What's going to happen is they're going to seize this phone. If I was a cop and came here, I'd look at his phone. If he had video of girls' dresses that he was taking up, to me, that would complete the crime. I would arrest him, and this guy would be my witness. And for all practical purposes, I say this guy was preventing a crime, and he was making a citizen's arrest on this guy, even though he didn't say it, and maybe he didn't know it. But that's the way I'm writing it up. And that's how I would handle this case. Now, if this guy was, let's say, a protected person and not a white male, what do you think would happen? And this guy was a white male. Well, that's why our legal system is injustice and it's BS and all this hate and special privileges for only special people that exclude other people is just flat out wrong. But anyway, I, I applaud this guy for taking action. I don't know what the outcome was. And was basically almost on top of the guy and asking him to... Now right here, where they get into this scuffle, fight. is this guy causing a fight? Is this guy preventing him from taking his property? Could this guy claim he was trying to steal my property? I pulled out a gun and shot him because I thought I was being robbed. It gets very muddy when you get involved in these things. If this guy's watching my channel and he knows what to say, He's going to say this guy was committing a crime. He was trying to get his phone to destroy evidence, and I was stopping evidence of a crime from being destroyed. Perfect. No problem. So, again, your statement is critical when you get involved in these encounters and you try to, you know, if you do it wrong, they're going to say you took a lawn into your hands, so screw you. If you get it right, they'll say, well, if you were helping the cops, and, you know, since cops are perfect and we want your help, we'll overlook it. Again, our laws are not based on doing the right thing. They're based on who gets to pick and choose when and who to do the right thing on and who to do the wrong thing on. Who can I make the victim? You know, and you get a guy who's committing a crime, a felony. He's passing a forged check. He's a prior felon. He's committing a crime and he fights with the cops and dies and they pay his family $27 million. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a clue here. Never in the history of settlements has a white person been committing a crime and got paid $27 million. Somebody wants to post it, please feel free. 
and asking him to uh, give him his phone and he wouldn't. Duarte and his wife ran after the man, snapping pictures of him and his license plate. So that was pretty good. They got his license plates and pictures of him. Unfortunately, if they didn't get the phone and there's no evidence, the video footage may help from the store, but this guy is going to say, I thought I was being attacked. That's why I ran. That guy was crazy. I wasn't doing anything. Here, check my phone. And everything's deleted. So, I, and again, I can't remember if they said he got the phone or not. That's all police needed to catch him. It's disgusting that he knew exactly what he was doing. If he went to different targets to do this, how many other stores did he go to? Target security tape shows Ibarra placing his cell phone on the ground near other women in the Cypress Target. Dude, I like women as much as the next guy, but if you're running around sneaking pictures of women <laughs> in a store and that's how you get your freaking jollies, you got freaking issues, all right? That same night, police say earlier that day at a Target in Cerritos, Ibarro used his cell phone to inappropriately videotape and take pictures of women there as well. I'm just wondering also, since we're talking about, you know, stereotypes, and predicting behavior, you know, all the things the left tell you you can't do because it's bad. When was the last time a woman was caught running around trying to take a picture up a guy's shorts? Well, Rick, uh, that's a man's... Well, I'm not saying it's a man crime. I'm just saying the law of probability, when you can predict behavior of certain people and you're more right than wrong, then that's okay. You're choosing on behavior. It's not like the left tells you you're choosing on some obscure color, religion, whatever. When you can predict the behavior of someone or a group, you know, then it's not a bad thing. But, of course, we, we can't say that in this day and age. Hell, this video will get banned for just telling the truth because it doesn't promote the typical liberal idiocy. Well, the Duarte say the Cypress target manager told them the staff had been warned that a man with the bar's description was targeting women in that store just one hour before. So the manager knew there was a guy targeting women and he couldn't put an employee out on the floor. What, the store doesn't have store detectives, plain clothes? Is this target like everyone wants to go here and steal something because they ain't got... If they, this guy they, is running around doing this and the manager knew and they didn't pass it off? Man, I mean, I don't like Target anyway. They were the first one to start with this 14 bathroom crap, and we want to make everything inclusive, and everybody can use everyone else's bathroom. So I don't I haven't been a Target since they came out with that dumbass policy. Just like Starbucks, they came out with their dumbass policy. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're not gonna uh, discriminate against homeless. And as soon as the homeless start coming in and, and using their bathrooms as showers, and they and they slept everywhere and stunk up the place, that policy lasted for two days. And then Starbucks, who called everyone else racist and sexist and, and bigoted for picking on poor uh, Hispanic illegals, suddenly became bigot and everything they called everyone else, and they changed their policy. But because they're a left-wing company, nobody did the cancel culture on them, and they're still popular, and idiots still buy their coffee. I don't, but anyway, I digress. And I said, why weren't you looking for him? This could have been prevented. And he just kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so it looks like he grabbed his phone and ran out. So they probably didn't have the phone. All right, uh, look, a lot of things to consider when you get involved with these incidents. Uh, you know, this guy could have been really crazy, pulled out a knife and stabbed and said, hey, man, I thought I was getting attacked. And, uh, you know, then you're going to have to make a pretty good case and hope government, hope, hope is not a plan, hope is not a strategy. You got to hope government would pull this footage and say, you know what? This guy, you were wrong for stabbing him because he was preventing a crime and you were engaged in criminal activity when he when he confronted you. But again, it's all up to the liberal DA in the area and what he chooses that he progresses. If he makes his choices on uh, charging people by the color of their skin, like a lot of DAs do, then you know what? You're, you're playing with fire. All right, we'll end that there.